Slim Shady. Just kidding, guys. I'm, my name is James, and today I wanted to talk about how music can help people navigate identity. Uh, my main talking points today, because this topic it can be so broad and hard to fit in five minutes, that my main two talking points are what music can do to help you meditate and motivate you to find your identity. And that's kind of why I had the brain up there, because when we're thinking about music, we have to think about the kind of music that we're going to react to as opposed to the way that someone else is going to react because we all react differently. So we have to know that we're going to react differently to different music and the same with other people. Um, so the first main point I wanted to talk, kind of talk about was meditation. Uh, meditation, uh, according to one of the articles I read, was uh, when you take a few seconds to really take a step back and reflect on who you are, your values, and what you stand for. Um, when you're meditating, you really take evaluating who you are and what you want to be so when you're using music to do that um, you're using music to identify how you're feeling at the present moment and then using music to identify how you feel about that and then move forward on whether or not you feel com comfortable and confident with who you are and how you feel or you need to change something um, when I'm doing this I mean, this is part of the, the research that I was talking about when I'm reflecting I like to listen to Audio Slave because uh, in one of their songs, uh, it's called Be Yourself, it's on their Out of Exile, their second album, I believe. Um, it, the main chorus line just goes to be yourself is all you can be, and one of the main takeaways I have from that song as a college student is we work tirelessly to be the greatest that we can be, but we, the main thing we have to remember is that we can only work as hard as we're gonna work, and we're gonna be the greatest that we're gonna be, and that's gonna be it. You know, if we're working, if we can't work any harder than what's capable, you know, otherwise we're doing ourselves an injustice and, insert, and a disservice if we're working harder than is uh, comfortable or our limits, so we're pushing ourselves past our limits. So that's what Audio Slave does for me, but that could definitely do something different for Liam or for Gabrielle, because if Liam likes to reflect listening to Taylor Swift and Gabrielle likes to reflect listening to Migos, then obviously they're not going to get the same sort of reaction listening to the same song and they need to reflect listening to different music, so that's why the heart is there to kind of symbolize that we're all listening to different music, we're all listening to different styles of music, so we have to understand that the color that we're bringing to the table is different, and that's why the colors in the heart are different, and we need to listen to different music, because different music is different to us than other people. Um, the second and main point, and kind of the driver even behind meditation, is motivation, and the motivation comes behind how you're feeling about music. Um, you, you get energy and you get emotion from music, that's the effect that you get from listening to the type of music that um, you're listening to, I guess. Like, if you're listening to Migos, then you're getting wild and rambunctious, and you're trying to raise the roof and just get turned, I guess. And Migos kind of idol idealizes the negative way in that, in that, that you're doing harm to other people and you're, you're spinning negatively. So it's my takeaway from Migos is that they're spinning that energy negatively, and that's another th takeaway you have to get from the effect on the energy that you're getting is, although it may be positive energy in the way that it's pushing you, whether it's forward or slowing you down in meditation, you have to realize that the outcome of the music could have an effect on you also. So that's what Migos does for me. When I'm trying to get pumped up and write my paper in a night and write an A, you know, I'm trying to listen to Eminem, I'm trying to listen to Rap God, that's why I dropped the Slim Shady one earlier too. It, to it totally worked with Dane's comment earlier. Um, Eminem, when he's writing, he is so lyrically like in tune to what he's doing and so in tune with what the beat, that's how the music makes him feel and that's how the music speaks to him and motivates him to be the best that he can be. And uh, that's why I listen to Rap God, because when I want to write an A paper, I want to write like Eminem writes, I don't want to write an A rap in my UF literature paper. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to do and that's why I listen to Eminem when I'm trying to get motivated. But that could be different for somebody else because again, music's different to everybody else. So Eminem could just be some annoying white guy to you. Gabrielle could be an Amigos. William could be the Taylor Swift. It's all different. We have to keep that in perspective. And that's what I kind of just want to conclude on is that through music, we can really understand who we are and what we're trying to do. Uh, we understand that music can help us meditate and it can help us motivate to push forward or to motivate us just to take a step back and relax and meditate. Um, going back to that, what I, like, I see that my um, reflections are kind of different than maybe somebody else's, but the important thing to take away is that we all listen to different music, so really take into account what kind of music you listen to when you're trying to reflect or trying to motivate yourself.